this is Michelle from Crumpets and Bollocks, and I'm going to show you something I discovered this Halloween for the first time, thanks to a bunch of YouTube videos. But I'm making one of myself because it's slightly different. I'm anyway. Um, I wanted to do pumpkins that weren't exactly all the way through, and maybe some of it, the holes go all the way through, but something where the design itself doesn't go all the way through, so I can do a bunch of different options. And this one is quite easy to do. So. First of all, I get this device. It's a linoleum cutter, and it's from Speedball. And uh, it has the hand tool and a little knife and then these various little things. If you remembered from art class, if your art teacher made you do it, when you did linoleum cuts, you scrape linoleum, and then you can make an ink print based on whatever you scraped. So um, using a linoleum cutter, all you simply do is um, pick a place to cut. I'm going to continue from this little flower and all you got to do is just kind of go wherever you want to go and doodle. And of course there's going to be scrapings so you want to be somewhere where you can leave scrapings around. And then you kind of go over it, cut more than once. Get it to the depth you want. And then you can do keep going for a fan and with this pumpkin I'm just kind of doodling and making it up as I go along and you just I'm kind of just working my way out to make like a fan looking flower To get some holes in it. And it's fairly easy. Like, it's not much effort. I'm not using a whole lot of um, muscle power. It's not like I'm scrubbing something off of a dish. And then to make some holes, you can make like a little line there, and then. For a big hole, you can use a bigger drill bit. This one's a little bigger than the one I used last time. And you just jam it in there, and boom, hole. And then you can do little holes with um, these little miniature screwdrivers. And I will have a picture of my pumpkin when I'm finished with it on my blog. And now you can see how I make it. I just keep doodling, draw my lines wherever I feel like it. And um, I'll probably do another pumpkin using the same tool where I'm going to put a picture on the pumpkin and just kind of scrape the white parts off. But anyway, check out my blog for my how-to. And um, thank you for watching.